Hi everyone and welcome to Julie's Oasis. Today I'm going to share with you how to make a birthday card for a guy in your life. So let's get started. First you'll need very vanilla um, cardstock, early espresso crumb cake cardstock, and early espresso and crumb cake ink only. So to get my um, top layer what I did is I only put my piece of cardstock halfway through, well a bit more than halfway through the embossing folder, ran it through the Big Shot and then the portion of it that was not embossed I just stamped it in um, early espresso, poked two holes and then I put it in brads. After that uh, what I did is with a sponge I actually um, used the crumb cake ink and I just gently rubbed it so that I could see more of the details of the uh, embossing. Then what I did is uh, using the um, distressing toolkit, the cutting toolkit, I've actually just distressed the edges of my uh, crumb cake piece of cardstock. So the dimensions on this one are very vanilla, that's your basic half sheet. And then um, I did, I think it's five and a quarter by four inches in early espresso. I did um, five, five inches by three and three quarters in crumb cake and then the last layer I did a quarter inch smaller which would be three and a half by I think it is it is three and a half by that's four and three quarters. So before I actually go ahead and adhere this layer on top of um, my crumb cake, what I did is using the uh, new satin ribbon that we have in the Holiday Mini, um, I just wrapped it quickly around it and then I'll trim the ends off. Yes, I do mess up sometimes, uh, but it's still good, so no problems there. Then I'll just stick it down and then my little leftover piece I'll just cut at an angle and then I layered it on top of that and then using the linen tread just put it here and I'll just tie it like this and do it twice then on another vanilla piece of cardstock I stamped that one tree using the early espresso ink punched it out with the two and a half inch circle punch and then uh, using the sponge again and the crumb cake ink I went all around the circle and darkened the edge as well as popping four dimensionals on the back to give it a bit of dimension again and it's sticky I'll just position it like so and voila so I have an hap uh, a happy birthday and a celebrate today card so I have two cards uh, ready to go for January which at the end of the day is perfect because I have two birthdays um, guys in my life actually in January so hope you like the card and happy Sunday I'll talk to you again soon